saving up for a self-driving car. One North Texas man says it will change his life, and today the government said they could help eliminate traffic deaths completely. It's an ambitious goal, and Robbie Owens is live in Dallas to explain what it could mean. Well, Kaylee, who wouldn't, or I would say a lot of you would like to sit back, relax, and perhaps let the onboard computer deal with all of this, and you wouldn't have to treat the computer to lunch. Still, where federal officials see that driverless technology as a way to make streets safer, Blake Lindsay just wants full access to them. I've been able to skydive. I like to snow ski. I like to water ski, horseback ride. Blake Lindsay lives a full active, independent life. There's just one thing missing that has him saving for a driverless car. I'm excited because I'm totally blind, and these cars are gonna make a huge difference in a person who's blind uh, to be able to get around and be that much more independent. I don't know what we're not gonna be able to do after that. For the visually impaired, driverless vehicles will change lives, but federal safety officials say they will save lives by making the roadways safer. Their ambitious goal? eliminate traffic deaths within 30 years. I think that's overly optimistic, yes. Rich Bai is a fan of driverless vehicles, but doubts that Americans will be able to hand over control. No, because humans aren't built that way. It won't happen. It won't happen. Driverless vehicles are already on the road, and the failures and crashes have raised concerns. And let's slow it down a little bit. Or, hey, look, let people know that they're a test pilot to a technology that's not perfect. And while Lindsay admits that the technology isn't perfect yet, a driverless vehicle can't get in his driveway fast enough. This is not a fantasy anymore. When I was eight years old, it was a fantasy. Now it's a reality. We see it taking place. Lindsay says technology has already opened so many doors for the visually impaired, so why not the roadways? Live in Mobile 11 in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.